Prepare to be romanced. Voila. Bienvenue à Paris. Bonjour, madame. Fromage. Don't worry, Charles is leaving in a second. I am? Yeah, you were just helping me set up. Fine, enjoy your weird anniversary with just the couple. You selfish jerks. Thank you for your help. So, what do you think? I love it. It's really romantic. Oh. I mean, except for the comatose body in the middle of the room. Oh yeah, just pretend he's part of Paris. Imagine we're on a walking tour of the Louvre and he's a statue. Hmm. Yeah. Shall we, ma chérie? I asked the lady at the store what her favorite cheeses were, and those were all super expensive, so I got us a budget-conscious selection of local cheddars. So, full year of marriage. What was your favorite part? <gasps> Are you asking me to do a marriage highlight reel countdown a la NBA inside stuff? I mean, that's not exactly what I was like. Number five! A mod Rashad, it's my best impression. Number five was the time that we accidentally got our contact lenses switched. I got to see the world through your eyes. But our prescriptions are different and the world was so blurry. Yeah, it was crazy. I thought I was having a stroke. Okay, your turn. Number four! Oh, is an old witch introducing this highlight? That was exactly what you sounded like. No. Yes. Agree to disagree. Fine. Number four was when we played laser tag and we shot all those little kids. <sighs> Oh, yeah. You really messed up Little Mason's birthday party. Mm -hmm. Deservedly so. He was a jerk. Oh. Okay, what should number three be? Ooh, I know. It was that time we shared an Uber pool with Michael Caine. Oh. <sighs> I mean, obviously Michael Caine was shooting a movie in London at that time, and also, why would Michael Caine be in an Uber pool? But it was still so cool. It really was. We shared a car with Alfred. We did. <laughs> Okay, number two. This might be my favorite moment of our entire time as a couple. January 6th. Eddie Redmayne's birthday. Why do you know that? Because he was weird in Jupiter Ascending. Oh, yeah. I'm just a fan. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay. It was the coldest night of the year, and you put socks on my feet while I slept. You never even took credit for it. And now I'm getting credit for that and for not taking credit. That's double credit, you fool. You two are just the cutest. I can't wait for number one! Oh, it's Ahmad Rashad. I'm Pam. I'm from next door. I was listening to the two of you talk and just had to get a look. You're both very attractive. Aren't they? Boyle, go home. Oh, Pam can stay, but not me. Yeah, because she's a patient here. I'm assuming because of your gown. I am. I have a twisted bowel. I have a tube. I have a bag. Do you want to see? Oh, no, no, no. But thank you, Pam. Uh, let me know if you smell anything. I don't even notice it anymore. Well, I'm pretty sure I actually already smell something. No, you'll know. Oh. Do you two have kids? Mixed race babies are always so adorable. Ugh, you said words. Yeah, we don't have kids yet, but we're gonna start trying soon. I just have the one, my Bobby. He was such a cute little kid until he discovered his wiener. Pam, there you are. It's time for your IV. You're playing music in here? You can't do that. Why not, Nurse Janet? Is it gonna distract the doctors? Yes, that's exactly what it'll do. Okay, fine, I'll turn it off immediately. Are we the bad guys here? Yeah, it seems very likely. 